it functions like Velcro at the molecular level. Now our gels have these pendant arms that can actually reach across the interface and then bond to each other. My name is Amea Fudge. I'm a fourth year PhD student in bioengineering at the UC San Diego Jacobs School of Engineering. I work on bio-inspired materials in Shiny Varghese's laboratory. So what we have here are our self-healing gel. I've dyed one of them yellow and the other purple. And so this is so that we can see the, the interface a lot clearer on camera. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer each of these gels into a low pH solution. And now I'm going to bring the two pieces together. We don't really need to press them. We just have to bring it so that the surfaces are touching. We want to leave them for a couple seconds. And now when I lift this out, we see that it's healed within a few seconds. And so what this does is func it functions like Velcro at the molecular level. Now our gels have these pendant arms that can actually reach across the interface and then bond to each other. And this reaching across is actually reversible depending on what the pH is. And so we see this as useful in a couple of different applications. Uh, the first one is in a purely industrial aspect where you can use this as a sealant for acid leaks. The other interesting thing, since we are in the Department of Bioengineering, we're interested in how this interacts with human or animal tissues. This is very interesting for use as a tissue adhesive. And since this operates at a low pH, that is the environment of the stomach, we see this as especially interesting in controlled drug delivery to ulcers or even potentially sealing a perforation in the stomach. 